How are you guys doing? It's Nikolai from Global Seafoods. Today we're going to make something really special. We're going to make some curried Pacific cod. Here we go. Boom. Here we have a nice big fillet of wild Pacific true cod uh, caught in Alaska. Uh, cod is always a good choice. It's always wild. You can never get farmed cod. It's impossible to find. It's full of vitamins, minerals, lots of nutrients. It's got a light flavor. So for those of you who do not like fishy flavored fish, so like salmon, a lot of the times is too strong for some people, this is a great option, okay? So curried cod, what do we got? We have obviously our true cod, we have some olive oil, we have coconut milk, we have curry powder or curry mix, we have vegetable stock, we have tomatoes, parsley, garlic, limes, onions, salt, pepper, easy. Okay, we're gonna cut this all up. We're gonna start off with the cod. We're going to cut it up into three portions just to make it a little bit easier for us. Start off with that. Look at these pieces. Look at that cod. Beautiful. All right. We're going to cut up our vegetables next. And then we're going to go to the frying pan. All right. We've lit our fire under our skillet. We're going to get some olive oil. Okay. Poured that on. Ooh, get, a, get a decent amount. Make sure that it is evenly distributed on the pan and let it heat up, okay? We had some comments on some of the videos of people saying like, oh, people don't know how to heat up a pan. I know, all right? You got to heat it up first. If it's hot and the cook better, it's not going to stick to the pan. We've had people with complaints, grandware basically stating that, oh, the fish that we were cooking stuck to the pan. Well, what did you do? Did you put oil on there? No. Okay. Did you heat it up? No. Did you even thaw the fish? No. Okay. There's steps you got to take, okay? They're important steps, otherwise you're going to mess up your dish. Here's one. All right, we got the heat. Let's put on the onion. We chopped it up. Okay, remember, if you put something on a skillet and it ain't doing the sizzle sizzle, you put it on way too early. Okay, once you've cooked the onions a bit, I'm gonna take some of that crushed garlic, stick it in there, boom, mix it up, let all of that cook some more. Next one we have the tomatoes, put them right on there. Okay, mix that up a tad bit. And we're gonna add about a cup of the vegetable stock. I always use unsalted or low sodium stuff because it is a lot e easier to then later add more salt than it is to then try to remove salt, okay, or try to hide it. Add that, and then we're gonna add some of this curry. We're gonna add about one and a half tablespoons, okay. This stuff comes in about a block, so we're going to just spoon about yay much and stick that in there. <clears throat> we're going to add our can of coconut milk. Make sure it's unsweetened. Make sure it's full fat. Don't use the light. Okay, pour that in. Okay, we're going to make sure we mix all this in. We're going to let it cook for a bit, reduce slightly, and then we're going to add in our fish after this. Okay, this story smells nice and curry scented. Okay, don't use the whole brick of curry mix. It's strong. It's meant to last you a few times. Okay, so this already has great scent and it's going to have great flavor. Okay, while this is cooking up a little bit, we're going to take some pepper. Okay. I always like to add a lot of good amount of pepper. Get lots of flavor. And we're gonna add some salt. I always start a little bit of salt. Okay. And then go from there because once again it is really easy to oversalt. You can't un you can't unsalt it. Okay, we're gonna add our cod. Okay. Very, very slowly in. Okay. One piece. Two piece. 
three piece. Okay. So we get all that curry sauce on top of it. Make sure it's nicely covered. Get all of that in there. Okay, we're going to make sure we cover this. Grab the spoon get in there. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to turn down the temperature. We are going to grab our trusty lid. I'm going to put it on top. So now we're going to put down the lid after we've reduced the temperature. Okay, it doesn't have to be tight fitting. It'll be fine. <clears throat> For this recipe, you can use any kind of whitefish. You can use like ling cod, halibut. You can even use flounder. Uh, we really like cod. Uh, it's just a great type of fish to use for these types of recipes. Uh, it's got light flavor. You're not going to overfish it uh, with, with that flavor. Uh, it's very versatile. Uh, it's one of the reasons why cod is often mixed up with a lot of sauces because it needs something to kind of bring out its kind of soul. All right, time has passed. Let's take off the lid. What's oh, as you can see how the fish has cooked thoroughly through through Ugh, can't talk today um gonna give out its flavoring into the curry the curry is going to come in and flavor the fish it's going to create a harmony look how beautiful it looks so now what we're going to do is we're going to take half of one of these limes we're going to take the lime we're going to squeeze the juice into there get it all over the sauce the fish Boom. There we are. I'm going to get rid of that and we're going to take the parsley. We're going to add the parsley into that as well. Okay. And with that, we're going to turn off the fire. It is ready to be tasted. All right, let's take this over here. Place it right there. Like how beautiful that looks. It's going to be delicious. The sauce is going to go super well. I know you guys don't have the smell o vision, but it smells absolutely marvelous in here. All right. Now, obviously, you can plate this with rice. If you want potatoes, if you want to go that direction, sure. Okay. Take out a piece. We're just going to plate it as is. There we go. Right onto that plate right there. We're going to get a spoon and get some sauce. Obviously, you want to get some of those onions and tomatoes in there. We've got our coconut curry sauce. Rizzle the sauce. This is going to be delicious. Probably one of the best smelling dishes we've done on this entire series. I am really excited to try this. All right. Trusty fork. Let's give this a whirl. Should easily flake apart over a fork. Don't even need a knife. One flake. Two flake a tomato right there. All right. Let's grab a little bit here. No, hold on. Let's grab the tomato. We're going to get a full on blast of flavor. Tomato, onion, fish. All right, we're struggling with this. Ah, okay. Mm. That is that's so good. So superb. What's great about this is 
It's like any great sauce, okay? It's there for flavor. It's going to add a personality to your fish, but it's not becoming the fish, right? You can definitely taste the flavor of the curry. It is delicious, but you can still taste the fish. It's not overpowered. It's not completely gone. But it is, it is so good. You know, the sauce is light. It's sweet. It's got a little bit of a tang to it. From the curry. It is, it is, it is really good. Okay, I highly recommend doing this dish. So, you know, if you like this, hit like, follow, share, and we'll see you for the next one.